What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another player pack review. A lot of people asking me about these three guys that are available for, for 5,000 eFootball points, which equals to free because we've been getting a lot of eFootball points lately that you can get in the eFootball point shop, right? So we're going to do a quick review of them and we're going to talk about them because we have, I think, the first ever father and son duo release. We've got Antonio Percassi and we have got his son Luca Percassi. Both of these guys are involved with Atalanta, or they used to be involved with Atalanta. And this guy, man, Antonio Percassi, is an old player. He must be one of the oldest players in the game that they have added. But it is nice to see. I mean, I know a few people will say, who you know, they mightn't really know these players. And I'm not going to pretend that I, you know, grew up watching these or I know a lot about these Percassi boys. But, you know, it's nice to have a bit of a mix for every age of football fan. We've also got Jacopino as well, the Italian midfielder, AMF. Um, this guy looks pretty decent as well. I'm not going to say that he's going to be amazing, but we will get into that in just a second as we look to train him up on eFootball DB. But firstly, if, if you guys want to get these, you can get them for 5,000 eFootball points in the player section here. This guy's a center back. He's um, fairly decent. He's got very nice stats on wavering form and excellent player skills. We'll get into his card in a second, a little bit more. But I do like his, I do like his, uh, his base card of having the play style build up He's not the tallest player, so that's going to be a bit of a concern if you are interested in having really tall center backs. But I do like the fact that he has got excellent player skills. And of course, as well as that, he's got the 74 defensive awareness, right? So if I was going to be training up this guy, I'm probably going to look at uh, incorporating a lot of his defensive stats in as best as we possibly can, right? You're not going to get a meta center back out of these guys, lads. No matter if you use the Antonio or you use Luca, you're just not going to get it, right? Because if you're going to be lacking with the speed and the aerial strength, you're going to also have to take away or you're going to have no dexterity, right? Which you don't really need, but an 85 overall center back isn't going to cut the mustard if you are looking to be a Division 1, Division 2 player. Now, if you're looking for a bit of crack and you're looking to just tra train out players... I'll probably buy this guy on live stream and probably play the two of them together just for a bit of banter um, to have them because I don't know, as I said, if there is any other father and son pairing in the game, which is quite quite interesting stat. If there is, let me know in the comments below. But he's got a nice card, lads, if you're looking for... Look, I think the big thing with, with, with eFootball at the moment is there's no real point in using low-rated cards. Like, there is no benefit to using an 85-rated centre-back when you've got a, you know, a 95-rated player of the week centre-back there as well. Because that's just what people gravitate towards. The higher the, the rating, the better the player is going to be. That's just how most people view things, you know. We've also got the son, Luca. This guy is very, very dominant. Um compared to his his father in terms of speed but they've got very similar cards very similar cards low lofted pass here is going to be nice but they've both got interception and blocker i think this could be potentially one of the best two star cards that they have released but it's just a pity that there is going to be no real point in playing them in my opinion now he's only down as a 17 year old here as far as i remember lads this guy was with chelsea at one stage the name sounds extremely familiar to me around that time that was around the time of united winning the treble the 97 98 99 kind of 2000 season um they were united were going really strong and i'm nearly sure that that guy was with chelsea for a while but um he's not a he's not look he's not an amazing player he doesn't have a play style so i haven't seen a player with no play style like in a long long time this guy doesn't have a play style right which look i think that the way that the game is operating at the moment there's a lot of little kind of crumbs being left as to like how things are going to operate once efootball 24 comes out um and i think this is another sign of that of having a youth player with no play style right so we'll get into that in another video but he's got insane player skills he's not going to um you know he's not going to rip it lads with with stats you're going to have to just kind of pick where you want to put his stats like even if you put 16 if you max out defense you're only going to get average stats for in, into defense right so i would probably keep him you know as as balanced as possible i would probably throw in his speed and stamina quite high and then i would probably put his dexterity up a little bit and then his dribbling up a little bit you're still not going to get a good right back you're going to have to depend on this guy with his pinpoint crossing and his early crossing play style you're going to have to depend on his player skills to carry out so it's a little bit of a pity 
but not the worst card that you're going to see, but definitely not the best. And then last but not least, we have Jacopino. This guy, again, was a little bit probably um, underrated and a little kind of under the radar. A lot of people wouldn't know about this guy. I was just watching a video or two of him there. Um, one touch pass, first time shot. It looks fairly classy, but you run into the same problem that even if you max out his passing, you're only going to get to 92. Some players have that off the rip, you know, which is a bit of a pity. So I'd probably limit that to 80. The dribbling, you could max that out at maybe, you know, go 80 with the ball control and then the rest of it is just kind of like look he does get fairly nice stamina or fairly nice speed and and uh dexterity which is going to bring up his acceleration but for the rest of his card you are going to max out at like an 82 83 rated player so yeah i mean he's just yeah it's a pity man but these cards it's nice to have a little bit of variety and they are free cards effectively so yeah that is it for me lads let me know what you guys think let me know if you have any memories of these players as well. You can get the three of them for 15,000 uh, eFootball points. Um, yeah, I mean, look, I will probably buy the two of these just for the banter when we do the live stream later. So, yeah, if we're playing some friend matches or whatever. But, yeah, that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Let me know what you think. Are you disappointed? Or are you going to, like, you know, spin these guys or get these guys? Or are you disappointed? Would you have liked to have seen more players like Andy Cole or players like this? Like, Inzaghi is still there. Um, but the rest of them, Jan Collar, and, you know, they are probably a downgrade on that. But, yeah, I mean, look, I think myself, it's nice to have different players. Like, it's nice to have different players that play different roles. Very interesting with this guy, Procassi, that he doesn't have a play style as well, um, which is interesting. And his player skills are insane. But it will be interesting if you can, like, add different cards like you could look you could effectively get this guy uh, if you wanted his player skills um and then be able to transfer him to another player if the way the transfers of the player's uh, skills is going to work the way we'll get into that in another video lads i'm always take, talking about doing other videos but that's it for me lads i'll be back quite soon don't forget to subscribe peace